Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is dropping minus 7% and that's quite crazy. I mean it's not the end of the world but it is a very sharp drop but it's not that horrible. I will explain to you guys why in this video. Just remember my friends, click on the like button to support this channel. If you're new around here, consider subscribing because I do daily videos, daily analysis on Tesla and on other stocks as well. I'm sure you're going to like our content. From now on, I'm, I'm gonna record videos more often, okay? I know I didn't record videos every single day in the past few days, but uh, right now my life is coming back to normal, so I will probably update you guys on a daily basis from now on. Now, back to Tesla. Guys, Tesla is dropping minus 7%. Considering that the Nasdaq index is dropping minus 4.72% right now, I think that's a win. <laughs> to be, it, it is weird, right? I mean, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with a 7% drop, but it is quite good to see a 7% drop in a scenario where the Nasdaq drops almost 5%. Usually, Tesla's beta is around 2.53, so ideally, in any other normal day, Tesla would be dropping easily 13%, almost 14% roughly, right? So, I think a drop of 7% is okay that's not that horrible i mean it's not good but it's not all bad if we look at uh, first in order to understand why tesla is doing what it's doing right now let's take a look at the market when we analyze the s p we see a very sharp drop in the one hour chart i do believe the s p is well it already filled this little gap over here now in my humble opinion, we are supposed to find some support at this area around the 39, 31. Okay, I do expect we're gonna bounce back up from here. I don't know if the bounce back up will indeed create a crystal clear bullish structure and the, and the S&P will fly again to fill these gaps over here, right? These gaps over here. I don't know if this is going to happen. I hope yes, right? But uh, I don't know if this, this will actually happen from here. What I see is, okay, we found a support level, we filled this gap, now it's ideally we would bounce back up. If we lose this support level, the next support level is around 38.58, so we do have more room to drop, yes, but honestly, I think we're gonna bounce back up, in my humble opinion, as a normal retail trader like everybody else here, in my opinion, I think we're gonna bounce back up a little bit more. The Nasdaq index, on the, on the other hand, the Nasdaq index has yet to fill this gap at 11.378, roughly. All right, we still have to fill this gap. This gap was not filled, so tech stocks could drop a little bit more, okay? They could drop a little bit more. This might not be the end. This might not be the bottom, neither in the short, mid, or long term for tech stocks. But surely, we could drop a little bit more to fill this gap. If we fill this gap, and if we see a crystal clear bullish reaction in the one-hour chart around this support level, we could easily bounce back up to fill this gap over here. Okay, so yes, we do have some upside potential, we do, but uh, if we lose this support level, then okay, probably the Nasdaq will try to retest 11,110 points, the next support level down here. If this truly happens, any any possible bullish structure that the Nasdaq did in the past over here is going to be totally ruined. But uh, I don't believe this is going to resume the bear trend as well because I don't believe we're gonna keep dropping without a crystal clear retest of the 21 EMA. Maybe we're gonna bounce back up to, to this level. Maybe the Nasdaq will just move sideways until the EMA catches up with the price and then we might see another drop. That's another possible scenario. Because so far, we don't see any crystal clear bullish reversal signal over here. The Nasdaq is in a bear trend. It is a bear market already. <clears throat> the Nasdaq is dropping more than 20% from its peak. If I remember correctly, let me see November 19. Yeah, it is dropping roughly 30% since its peak. So it is indeed a bear market for tech stocks. The problem is many, many tech stocks are already near support levels, they are already dropping too much, like more than 60% to 
since their top level, many, many tech stocks are looking like this. So, including, including Tesla, Tesla is dropping since its top in November, let me see, it is dropping roughly 40%, okay? So, it is a very sharp bear market for Tesla, way more, way sharper than usual. And uh, right now, we are just at a very clear support level. So any, any meaningful reaction over here could be easily a buy. If you are already in Tesla, I don't think it is worth, uh, it is worth to sell Tesla near this support level, okay? Because you would be assuming that if we lose this support level, we're gonna retest lower level, right? Like 600s or even 500s, okay? Which is a possibility indeed, but just like for the NASDAQ index, I find very hard to believe that Tesla is going to resume this bear trend and engage in a sharper bear market without at least a pullback to its EMA again, especially now that we hit a crystal clear support level. It happened over here when we hit this support area, right? We bounced back up to the EMA. Now that we hit this support area, I think we're gonna bounce back up to the EMA as well. If we analyze the one hour chart, Tesla is a little bit more bearish than other stocks, uh, unlike Amazon, for instance. Amazon is, uh, was above the EMA until yesterday, right? Today is kind of ruining uh, every bullish signal over here, but it was above its EMA, right? Apple, Apple is, is still far from the support level. I mean, not necessarily far, but we are not there yet. Nvidia is clearly far from the support level. We have yet to fill this gap over here, right? By the way, I'm gonna do an analysis on NVIDIA tomorrow, so I hope to see you guys over there. NVIDIA is looking quite interesting, but, uh, uh, well, just watch my analysis tomorrow, okay? Uh, it is looking quite bullish, stronger than, than other stocks. Google looks like Tesla, in my humble opinion, and we also have Microsoft, which looks like Apple. It is quite far from the support level. We are not quite there yet, but Tesla, Tesla is already retesting its support levels. We are near uh, the, the support level it did on when the Ukraine war started, right? So it is a very complex and delicate situation, but uh, if we see any, any meaningful reaction, I think Tesla could have a very good week ahead, okay? Especially right now that we hit this support level in the one hour chart. Remember, Tesla is a very volatile stock and uh, considering that many other stocks are looking quite good right now. I think the odds are that it will bounce back up. I just don't know for how long it could bounce back up, okay? I don't know, I can't predict the future, but we don't need to predict the future in order to trade well, okay? So that's what I always try to tell you guys in this channel. Uh, te technical analysis and press action is purely reactive. It's not predictive, okay? But uh, if you wanna predict, if you wanna try to do some predictive thing, we have plenty of technical indicators that we could use on our analysis, and guess what? They're not helping at all. Not me, at least. I see the accumulation distribution index is fine, okay? It is following the trend. I see the RSI at 33.88. We see, we, we are kind of seeing a small divergence over here, but it's not a strong one, and we have the OBV as well, which is another nice indicator that I use sometimes. It's very rare, but I like to take a look at it. Uh, it is not doing any strong, meaningful divergence at this moment. So we see many conflicting, uh, conflicting indicators indicating to different directions, right? So that's the main problem. So in the realm of technical analysis, I think for now, Tesla should do a reaction price-wise. We should pay attention to the price action but uh, we can't hope it's gonna truly reverse without a crystal clear reversal signal before. And so far we don't see any meaningful reversal signal, but if I see one, I will promptly warn you guys today, uh, today, I'm so sorry, in this channel, okay? So just remember my friends, click on the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like it, the content. Seriously, your support means a lot to me. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe, farewell.